Welcome to Morning Glory Farmstead. My name is Lolly, and this channel is all about gardening, animals, and nature. And today I'm gonna do a review of the Hatching Time Brooder and let you know whether I think it's worth it or not. Now you guys may have seen this clip before in another video that I just did recently about putting together the Hatching Time Brooder and Grow Out pin. And so far I've been using just the brooder and I wanna let you know how it's going. Now, one of the most important things to me about a brooder is are my chickens going to be happy inside the brooder? This has to be their home for several weeks and I wanna make sure that they're happy about it. Well, so far, everything seems to be going okay. You guys, when chicks are unhappy, when they're scared, they're cold, they're hungry, whatever's going on, they're gonna chirp really loud. It's different than the little tiny chirps you hear when they're just kind of chattering amongst themselves you will know when there is something wrong. And I have not heard a peep from these guys in this room. I have to go in there frequently and check just to make sure they're okay because they are so content. So check, check, the chicks are happy. All right, y'all, I've got my espresso in hand. I'm showing you my cup. Guess what I'm about to do? I'm about to clean the inside of this for the first time, the trays and the mats. So the second thing I'm looking for is how easy is the brooder to clean? Cause y'all chicks will mess it up just as fast as you clean it. So it's important to be able to get in there, get it cleaned out quickly and put it back so that they remain healthy. And I wanted to show y'all, look at what I'm doing. I'm drinking my espresso while I'm spraying this thing off. Now you can't see it, but I had brought out my scrub brush and all kind of stuff ready to scrub this thing down and didn't even need it. Y'all, everything came off with the water. I can't ask for any more. I'm just gonna wipe off the water a little bit before I stick it back in there just to make sure it's good and dry. Y'all, this plane up here was so loud that I thought it was about to use my yard as an emergency landing. I looked up to literally see if it was gonna land on my head. Okay, but look at that. Beautiful. Only a few seconds it took. Next, I need to clean those little mats that they step on. And those get pretty dirty because that's what they're standing on. Now I'm dumping this stuff from the mat into the bag just so my chickens don't eat it, but there wasn't that much stuff. But you'll see they're dirty. Now when they get just a little bit bigger, I'm gonna remove those mats and they're gonna stand just on the grid floor. And this one is the dirtiest because they stand on it underneath the heater a lot when they're congregating and hanging out. So let's see what this one does with the water. Am I going to need a scrub brush? What do y'all think? That's pretty bad. That looks good to me. I'm not about to scrub that. Look at that, the before and the after. That's what I'm talking about. Easy breezy. Now I just gotta do the other two and I'll be done cleaning it up. So you can see they've already started to make a mess as I'm putting some fresh food and water in there, but y'all, that's just the way it goes with chicks. 
They can make a mess faster than you can clean it up. Now, I did tell them at some point they're going to have to learn to be a little bit more clean. But since the two youngest ones are only a few days old, I told them I'd give them a break and give them a little bit longer. Now, that big one over there is a little bit over a week old, so he's the oldest one. I say he. I'm not sure if it's a rooster. Y'all, I think I got a bunch of roosters in my cruise. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what's going down as far as the rooster and hen situation. Okay, so another thing that's important to me is the heating element. You know, is it consistent? Is it safe? What's going on? And yes, I have used heating lamps. And I know that some people say don't ever use a heating lamp. They start fires. And so I do realize that is a little controversial. I am super excited to have this heating element. I have had no issues, and the reason I know that is because they are not chirping. They're not standing as far away as they can from the heating element all day. Every time I go in the room, they're in a different spot, which is a great sign. So that means they can go closer to the heating element. If they're getting cool, they can go to the opposite side over there where they are right now if they're getting too hot. Now, they're not over there because they're cold. They're over there because I keep coming in with the camera, and they don't know what I'm doing. So they're just protecting themselves, kind of hanging out over there. But... They're usually all over the place inside here. So the heating element is working properly and I'm having zero issues and it is adjustable. And so the older they get, I'll keep lowering that temp just a little bit according to how many weeks old they are. Now, another critical thing that this brooder and grow out pen setup offers is space saving. So if y'all have watched my other videos, you know I have raised chickens in my bathrooms and things like that several times in the house. And it was always much more spread out than this, okay? This is much more condensed. I have everything I need in this smaller area. So I'm not having to put, you know, boxes or kiddie pools and wood shavings and stuff that just goes everywhere and also makes a huge mess. It actually ends up leaving kind of a dust over the walls and everything that's in that room. And so I'm constantly having to wipe it down with something wet to get rid of that. And I don't like breathing all of that in either. So this is much better. It takes up way less room. And the great thing is that you can go higher up. So I have one layer of the brooder, one layer of the grow out pen because I'm not doing a whole lot of chicks right now. I've already gone through all of that. But you can fit a certain number in here and they're really good about letting you know how many chicks you can put in here based on the type of bird and the age and all of that kind of stuff. So you can just look that up on their website. But if I had a ton, I could go up. You can stack these three or four high. And so you're still taking up the same amount of space on the floor. You're just kind of going up with it. So this is just a fantastic setup. So space saving is awesome. Next is the watering system. So you can see I do have the waterer right there, the little round one, but they also have the water cups in the back and these guys are just about tall enough now to start drinking out of that. So it comes with a watering system that will feed those so that you're not constantly having to fill it up. And so that makes it much more convenient. You can just kind of monitor, make sure they're figuring out how to use it and that you've got the water filled. And the last thing I want to mention is that this is plastic. Now, I love the fact that this is plastic because it's easier to clean and it is super lightweight. So it's even easy for someone like me to be able to move it around and get it to where I need it. It's got wheels that come on the base, which makes it even better. So the fact that it's lightweight and super mobile is a plus. All right, so that's all I've got for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. They have truly made this a way for anybody to be able to raise chicks in their home and to keep them happy and healthy. And I hope that you guys would consider getting chickens if that's something that you can do where you live and there's not an HOA or something telling you that you can't. It would be awesome for you to get this and just try out two or three chickens, get a few eggs each day. And you guys, they add so much joy to my life, which is probably why I have so many. But y'all, you can easily do two or three chicks to start out with and just experience it for yourself. If you guys are interested, I have added a link to Hatching Time in the description box.
All right, I'll see you real soon in the next video. And until then, y'all have a great couple of days. Bye-bye.